Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss about the Luhmann's theory of the autopoietic social system. And this video is the continuation of earlier two videos on Luhmann's uh, theory. That is Luhmann uh, theory or system theory or theory of social system. So, as I said before in the previous video, that this autopoiesis there is concept or idea of autopoiesis was uh, biological. The concept autopoiesis is basically the biological one. And this concept originally used by Humberto Maturana and Francisco Varilla, two very renowned biologists. And they used this term uh, autopoiesis to give the answer to the world scientific community regarding the difference between the living system and the non-living system. That is how living system and non-living system can be differentiated. So, through this concept they gave the answer. According to Maturana and Varilla, autopoiesis means a system that reproduces itself, a system which are a constitute of various elements and one element, one element reproduces other elements, one element reproduces within itself, within the system, the system reproduces and this reproduction of the system is called the autopoietic system. So, basically, they, Mathurana and Varilla, used this concept in the understanding of the biological system, in the understanding of the living system. That is how particular cell, for example, uh, reproduces the other elements like the protein, lipids, etc. And the cell reproduces within the system, it do not take the help of the outside system or external system, rather it the reproduces within itself. There is our human body which has a mechanism, uh, that mechanism mainly maintains within itself, that is its various elements reproduces or produces within the system. So, this is called the autopoiesis. So, according to Mathurana and Varilla, autopoiesis is a term, is a concept that can explain the, the, that can explain the living system, that can explain the biological system and according to them, the system that is the elements of the system reproduces other elements, produces and reproduces other elements that is the system maintains within itself. System is not dependent on other external aspects or the system. In this sense, this autopoiesis system can be considered as the closed system that is operatively closed system. That means its operation, that is its activities, system has its activity and activity is confined within it. So, it is operatively closed. It is not related to any external system, external processes, rather it happens, it maintains within itself, that is operatively closed. But that does not mean that living system is not related to the external uh, processes or external system, rather it has its interaction with the outer world, with the environment and this is called as interaction. So, according to Mathurana and Varilla, the autopoietic system may have interactional openness. It may be uh, closed in operation, but it may have the interactional openness. That means, a living system always maintains interaction with the environment concerned. So, for the uh, for maintaining life, for maintaining the sustenance duration, a system 
needs to have connection interaction with the environment different aspects of the environment so this is how it interacts but this environment or other various aspects of the environment or external processes are not involved in the process of maintaining operation or activity within the system system has its own maintenance system has its own maintenance so these two things this autopoietic system pointed out that is operatively closed and interactional openness that is it has its interaction with the outer world but its maintenance happens within it but lohman modified this concept this concept of autopoiesis in his theory in his theory of the transdisciplinary uh, autopoietic social systems so his autopoietic system is little modified and this is his theory according to him can be applied to the non living beings because autopoietic or autopoietic system originally used for living system but according to lohman this concept can be used as for non living system as well so this is how he uh gave a transdisciplinary concept but we have to understand we have to explain elaborately about how he gave how he point i mean uh presented the transdisciplinary autopoietic social system in this regard i will today discuss certain important points through which lohman presented the uh, modified or transdisciplinary autopoietic social system one thing is the categorization of this system into three part or three category according to lohman besides living system there are other two important system that has to be considered one is psychic system another one is social system so this is his additional uh, means the discussion that is he added the psychic system and the social system with the concept the autopoietic system that is living system living system we already discussed which is autopoietic according to verilla and mathurana and lohman is saying okay, this concept can be extended to the social sciences or any other uh, disciplines which is dealing with the non living beings so according to him other two system which must be considered so one is psychic system another one is social system so his understanding of the psychic and social system are also on the basis of the autopoietic system but that autopoiesis or that autopoietic system of lohman is different from verilla and mathurana anyway again he subdivided social system into three Uh, organization interact societies organization and interaction societies organization and interaction so according to lohman psychic system also maintains the autopoiesis there is psychic system uh, a system that mainly reproduces that produces its system and reproduces the system on the basis of the on the basis of the uh, consciousness the basis of the consciousness conscious thoughts for the people so this is also autopoietic system there is this conscious and the reproduction of the conscious thoughts of the people or human being also happens within its also also operates within it so this psychic system is also autopoietic system according to lohman another is social system social system according to him is reproduced to within it uh, on the basis of the <coughs> communication so this part i will discuss in a next video because his uh, idea of the autopoietic social system is based on the concept communication and he defined communication in different way that i will discuss in next video so that it will be more clear 
anyway so psychic system which reproduces itself on the basis of the consciousness of thought and social system reproduces itself on the basis of the communication and living uh, living being or living system that reproduces itself on the basis of the life so this is how he categorized three system and these three systems are means are maintaining their own system production and reproduction within them and he further divided society into three parts that is societies organizations and interactions societies means uh, various social systems various social systems in the various places forms various societies then organizations there is organization there is people's collectivities the collectivities of the peoples are are structured in the society in organizational form again this organization has of many dimensions many nature of many kinds interactions interactions among the individuals interactions among the societies interactions among the organizations or between organizations and societies so these three are uh, these three sub parts or subtypes of the society are equally important to understand the Luhmann's theory of the autopoetic social system. So his understanding of the autopoetic system is based on the concept of communication. According to him, the traditional sociology mainly focuses either on the individual or actions. There is individual, how individual behaves in the society or how individual performs in the society another thing is action that is what action individuals do so action may be may be external to individual or may be internal to individual there is two different uh, different the line of thought in sociology exists one line or one block that believes that action is external to the society, uh, external to the individual. Another line of thought believes that action is the internal to individual. So, Luhmann rejected these two alternatives, that is, these two uh, way of understanding the society, these two way of understanding the individual and actions, and he put forward that the concept communication according to him communication is the most important element communication is the most important element that is that is essential that is essential for the autopoetic <coughs> social system and this communication reproduces or produces other elements in the society so in next video i will continue discussion on the concept of the communication how lohman used communication in his theory of the autopoetic social system so thank you very much for watching and like the like the video subscribe the channel